So if I wanted to factor this expression, right, I use the, something I call the AC method of factoring, and I look at the product of A and C. In this problem, that product is negative 24, and B is 5. My goal is to come up with two numbers that have a product of negative 24, and they have a sum of positive 5. Now, Jen's already said what the three numbers are because he's a genius with the arithmetic. I like to write this in factored form. 2 times 2 times 2 times 3, and I might need the 1. So when I look at it, I need to use all of the factors of 24 in order to build these two numbers. I can't lose anything. They all need to be involved in the solution. And I can tell by looking at that one of these will be negative and one must be positive. I can tell that because I'm going to multiply to get a negative 24. So, and also I know that the, the positive one has to be larger. And, you know, you can play with a lot. You can look at 6 and 4, or you can look at 12 and 2, you can look at 1 and 24. But eventually you come down to, oh, look at that. That's the number 8 and 3. So my two numbers are positive 8 and negative 3. Those values have a product of negative 24. Those values have a sum of 8. Now, once I've identified those values, right, the next thing that I do is I rewrite this by breaking up this linear term. So this becomes 6x squared minus 3x's plus 8x's minus 4. Now I deploy factoring by grouping. I look at my first two terms and my second two terms. What's the greatest common factor of my first two terms? 3x. When I factor out the 3x, what am I left with? Thank you. 2x minus 1. Then I bring down the plus. It's plus. What's the GCF of the second two terms? I can bring out a 4. And when I factor out the 4, what am I left with? Now, both of these, right, if you look at it, it's 1, 2 terms. Both of those terms have a common factor of 2x minus 1. They both have it. So I factor out the 2x minus 1. And if I factor out the 2x minus 1 here and here, what, what am I left with? Okay, now because this equals 0, I set each part equal to 0, right? 2x minus 1 equals 0. This is called the zero product property. And then I solve for x, right? Here, x is going to equal positive 1 half. x here would equal, is that right, negative 4 thirds? Okay, so these are my solutions to this problem, right? I've got 1 half and negative 4 thirds. Okay. 